Despite these challenges, I believe that all is not lost. There is still hope that something can be done, something that we all can do. May we always be guided by the spirit of our founder, St. John Baptist de La Salle, and let Jesus live in our hearts forever. Brother Bernard Oka, FSC, 24th President of De La Salle University, will now give his inaugural address. Chairman of the Board of Trustees, Mr. Nestor Tan. President of De La Salle Philippines, Mr. Edgar Chua. My dear predecessor, Brother Ray Suplido, Chancellor Emeritus and former teacher, Dr. Carmelita Quebenco, AFSC. Fathers, beloved brothers, distinguished guests, fellow Lasallians, a blessed feast of Our Lady of the Rosary to all of you, and a happy birthday to my sister Rosario. Our founder, St. John Baptist de La Salle, cultivated a lifelong devotion to the Virgin Mary. To him, she was the exemplar of a consecrated life. A life placed without reservation at the service of God to procure his glory in so far as it is possible. A simple life in Nazareth, which is an outback of barely 500 people, a life with few remarkable incidents and little desire to seek the attention of the world, but a life of the deepest apostolic dedication. With such modest and reverent offerings of self, does God do his most profound work on earth? On, a, on behalf of a grateful academic community, I thank Brother Ray, our longest serving university president in a generation. Because of his unifying and wise stewardship, I am able to step into the DLSU presidency with a deep sense of exhilaration challenge and humility. There has been such an exciting energy at De La Salle these past years. It has pushed so many of us towards excellence, towards being more, doing more for our shared mission. None of us shirked from the enormous challenges. Some were disruptions from without the K-12 reforms, national legislation providing free tuition at the tertiary level, the arrival of a once-in-a-century pandemic. Others have stemmed from our own aspirations to champion environmental sustainability and the precepts of Laudato Si, to digitize decades-old processes to better serve our community, to burgeon the Laguna campus, the future of our university. I delight in the experience of not having to solve everyone's problems at DLSU. 
In three years as chancellor, I have instead benefited from the deep pool of talent, expertise, and most of all, the wellspring of inspiration from goodwill of colleagues and partners. But there are old and precious lessons too. From when I entered these halls as a prep student in 1960, De La Salle University is not the iconic St. LaSalle building whose centenary we mark this very week. Nor is it just the facilities, the curriculum, and programs that she offers. She is the community of learners that envisions, proclaims, and witnesses to the kingdom of God. She is the mentoring of minds and touching hearts that transforms lives. My education at De La Salle taught me how to communicate, not only to write, speak, and read well, but to perform the difficult work that only the Holy Spirit can enable, to truly listen, to unify, and to bring about peace. St. LaSalle's statement to touch the hearts of your students is the greatest miracle you can perform, remains evergreen. The heart in scripture is the source of our being. In this place, the heart of a young student was touched again and again by many teachers and mentors who spoke eloquently and lived passionately. They transformed me and countless, uh, and countless others like me through their faith, integrity, justice, service, and mission. I learned early that the Lasallian education was not only about excellence, but about striving to be better and to make things better no matter the challenges and obstacles one may face. As a Lasallian institution, we take our future on three enduring values. A spirit of faith in a loving God who is ever present in our lives, whose grace overflows and equips us each with a zeal for service, and whose image is born by everyone around us, uniting us in a blessed communion in mission. Our core values are made for crises. They were made for a disrupted world. Let us hold fast to them. Let us put them to the test and let us joyfully assert them in our lives and in our work. With such steadfastness, our, with such steadfastness shall we persevere past gains, preserve past gains, and invite further flourishing. In academics, our caliber and quality now acknowledged by, a re by our regional peers our country best senior high school, our Lasallian brand of online delivery approved resoundingly by thousands more families who have chosen to place their children in our care. In research, our entry into the ranks of the world's top research intensive institutions, our first couple DLSU patents, our promising in-house startups, in social engagement, our innovative, award-winning programs, unified by our reflex reflection framework of Masid Danas, Suri Nilay, and Taya Aquilos. Let us work as well to secure our university's financial standing by combining the best practices of leading higher education and non-academic institutions. We need an openness of outlook 
that will help us better manage the rising costs of operating a 21st century research university. We must further modernize our advancement efforts and fundraising. Academics sometimes balk at discussing finances, but perhaps less so if we are careful to affirm the ultimate goal, to increase access to all who desire a Lasallian education. Above all, I would like us to work toward a vibrant, undivided, and green academic community. A minimum waste carbon neutral campus when we return, yes, but one whose concern for the environment stems from a proper ordering of our deepest affections for all creatures, Mother Earth, and for their Holy Creator. As Pope Francis exhorts us, each human being is an image of God, and each creature has its own purpose. None is superfluous. The entire material universe speaks of God's love, his boundless affection for us. Soil, water, mountains, everything is, as it were, a caress of God. Kung sa ganoon, patuloy natin alagaan ang isa't isa at mga ipinadala at ipinaubaya sa atin. Sa aking mga kasama sa pamumuno nitong pamantasan, magbukas loob tayo sa banal na espiritu. Ang ugat ng salitang administration ay hindi leadership o governance o management. Ang ugat ng administration ay ministry. Sa ganitong paraan natin mapapalaganap ang ebanghelyo sa lahat ang magandang balita na lubos-lubos ang pagmamahal ng Diyos sa atin. Let the greenness of life abound in our work, in our relationships with each other, so that we may help repair the things that remain broken within our nation and our world. Let us intensify our reflection so that we may bring together our talents in STEM with the best traditions of the humanities, social sciences, and business. Let us put all our work at the service of God and the Philippines and the world through our research-driven and challenge-based pedagogies. Through our inquiry and dialogue, not remaining silent while important questions burn, but abandoning neither truth nor grace. Let us take the time to reflect upon our Lord's will for us as a Catholic Lasallian University and as individuals. We have seen our Lord's trustworthiness through some of our most difficult periods in our institution. Let us pray as our founder did, Domine Opus Tuum, Lord, the work is yours. And let us esteem the testimony of those who have served selflessly and endured. During the investiture of Brother Armin, former President Cory Aquino was present and she was sitting right there. On her last public appearance, she was here at De La Salle University and she donated this painting, which she called a symphony in green. The spirit 
of President Corey Aquino lives in the university together with that of her husband, Ninoy, and especially President Noy. As President Corey said and once wrote, faith is not simply a patience that passively suffers until the storm is past. Rather, it is a spirit that bears things with resignation, yes, but above all, with blazing, sincere, serene hope. My fellow Lasallians, may our hearts truly live that deep faith and that we may spark that brain, burning, blazing, serene hope so that others may see the light in a darkening world. Mabuhay ka Jesus sa aming mga puso magpakailanman. God bless you all. Thank you.